semi-final matchups at Aeon 6 for the £15,000 lightweight tournament. Jay Furness alongside me, Aaron Chatfield, and we've got Andre Winner taking on Stephen Martin. Both guys scored finishes in the first round fights. Winner in the third, Martin in the first. So somebody asked me a little earlier, who do you predict for the winner? I really genuinely can't. Each of these bouts in the semi-finals is tight bout. I couldn't tell you who's going to win this one. Yeah, I mean, this is a big, big step up for Stephen Martin, but he looked very impressive in his first round submission of uh, Louis Chapman. And uh, obviously, it didn't have to go as long as Andre Winner did. He, yeah. Halfway through the first round, he'll be a lot fresher. I think he needs to get to this to the ground, though, or rely on a lucky shot. Yeah. yeah. Winner, very sharp. You see that jab, he worked it well in the first fight. So sharp with that jab, and you know when he wants to unleash, he does have that knockout power as well. Yeah. He's got one of those real arrow straight jabs, you know. Looks very confident on the feet. Not not too fazed by what Martin has to throw there, but it's Martin who's got to make the effort to close the distance. Yeah, I think Martin's baiting him, to be honest. I think Martin knows he's going to get this to the ground. He's going to let him uh, let Winner throw some shots, and then he's going to look for the takedown. Went for a big overhand of his own there, Martin, but Winner slipped out of the way. A little bit of a low blow there. Well, it's not that Martin hasn't got good striking, it's just you know winners is a different level here. I mean, those, those kind of leg kicks will uh, take the toll eventually if you're fighting three fights in one night. Yeah. You don't want to be taking too many of them flush. I mean, Martin's tight, you know what I mean? He's, he's not taking too much damage himself. No. He's starting the combinations to just appear to be a little, little short. Winners are, are landing more often. Oh, if that hook had landed. Andre started uh, quite slow in the first round of his first fight. Oh, oh nice spinning back. back kick. And the, uh, in the eyes of the judges, lost that first round, which is why they had to go to a, a third round all in. Ah, oh, steps easily out of the way of that shot yeah. from Martin there. We knew that was coming as well. I think the guy driving the taxi outside knew that one was coming. Yeah. <laughs> nice kickoff winner. He's very composed winner, you know that he's been here before. The guy's got, you know, almost 30 bouts under his belt. Yeah, at, at the highest level as well. Yeah, right up there, you know, he's been on the big show. But 
this in terms of, uh, I mean, it's been six fights since Andre when he was in the UFC. He's gone four and two. Um, obviously, he, we got he had caught the, then with a the left hook. Yeah, and he might be rocked. Oh, he's beckoning him on. Their showmanship from winner. Trying to lure Martin in there. Yeah, we know Winner's got a good chin, but anybody can knock anybody out. I mean, these guys fight at this level, they're athletic, you know what I mean? All, every guy is going to have power if he lands that shot. Yeah, Winner, winner had the double underhooks. He's yeah. lost half of that, but... He's a hard guy to take down, and he's an even harder guy to keep down, his winner. Yeah, he's got one of those really odd, unorthodox defences to take down. It's not that it's the skill there, but it's a bit like... Uh, you know, like uh, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. Yeah. Just really awkward to take down. Martin will be happy in close, landing the little shots, you know, taking the toll. Yeah, winner trying to move off that cage, smart move. Yeah, winner did say pre Nice knee. Yeah, that's a good knee. He did say pre-fight, you know, that's the way guys try and fight me. They try and shove me on the fence and they try and make it ugly. And he said, I don't blame them, but you know, they've got to get me down if they want to finish me. And there's not many people that do, even in the UFC. Yeah. He must drill this kind of position, though, with his back against the cage, people pressed up against him. He must drill this day in, day out, because he knows that that's what people are going to do. And there, referee Neil Hall looks for the break. Yeah, I think that was good. There wasn't a lot happening. I think Winner is winning this round, but he's not winning it with an exclamation mark. Yeah, only just. Couple of nice shots. Winner went for the elbow then, he was in close. Yeah, I think it went for it in the first fight as well. Good knee from Winner. Yeah. Oh, the single legs there. Let's see how Winner's defense works now. I think he'll be a lot harder to take down than uh, Martin had in his first yeah, round fight. I mean, once he did get it to the mat, it looked so fluid. But he's not had that chance here against Andrea Winner. And yeah. as you say, it's, a, it's no easy task. Ten seconds has gone. Nice elbow to the side of the head as well. Yeah, and they all count. That's a tough round to score, Aaron. go round two winner just needs to do what he did in the first round really perhaps throw a few more shots oh it's sharp that jab and it's accurate as well it, it more often than not finds the mark and Martin is you know he's putting them little kicks out there winner going to the body nicely with a jab I'm waiting for him to really explode on a big right hand yeah he's setting it up Good combination then from Martin. Oh, a nice kick. Landed on the guard, but it was well thrown. Look for the right hand and the left hook there, did Winner. Nice kick again. Winner's getting relaxed now. This is when Winner really starts to improve. Gets relaxed, gets loose, throws more shots. Yeah, we saw him just get better and better in the first fight as the fight went on. Uh, eventually got the finish in the third round and he looks to be picking up the pace maybe a little bit in the second round. I mean, Martin, Martin is throwing hard shots back but he's just not landing anything clean. Nice sprawl from, uh, from Winner yeah. there, gets on top. Now, I, I, you know, Winner pushed this then, he could have stood up at that point. He's opted to stay on top. This is dangerous. It's a BJJ black belt. Yeah, I mean, Winner has said we know how good he is at striking but you know, he's training with elite level guys every day. I've got no doubt that his, um, his groundwork's good as well. He's, he's looking to pass there. But as you say, you know, you'd expect him to back out of his position and uh, try and resume on the feet. But he seems, yeah. seems happy enough to engage. He certainly is. He's got the underhook. There yeah, he that's what I expected to see. He's not silly. He knows that on the feet he's got the edge. Big right Lovely hand. right hand. Well, that's all, you know, it's all points scored as well for when they spend some time on top. And they're swinging heavy now. Martin just missed it. He does sit on his shots and he throws them hard, but he just uh, hasn't been quite as accurate as Andre Winner. Yeah. 
And he's quite a stocky guy as well. Nice move off the cage by Winner then. Yeah, and he threw that right hand on the break. Nice kick to the body. Nice kick. Winner's very good when, the, when your two fighters disengage. He always gets that last shot in. It's a really good habit to get into. Looks for an uppercut there. Martin tried to counter with the left. I, um, Martin hasn't uh, pushed the issue to get it to the ground all that much. He's attempted a couple of takedowns, but he's had him rightly stuffed. Considering this is two five-minute rounds, I think he's been a bit foolish this round. Big knee. Yeah, he's, I think Martin needs to do more. He's, um, yeah. Oh, lovely. Winner's really stepping it up now. This is what I like to see from him. Yeah, he's building in confidence and the pace is just growing. He's not the fastest starter, but once he gets into his rhythm, oh, and knees coming in, on a big knee to the right in the eye socket. And then he goes straight for the underhook to defend that takedown as well. I don't know how long's left on the clock, but you know, Martin's leaving it later to, to suddenly uh, start going for a takedown here. Yeah, winner just seeing his hips into the fence, using that wizard on the left hand side. Exactly what he needs to do. Martin working hard for the takedown. Yeah, I think we'll be approaching the last minute of this round now. Nice yeah. elbows chopping in. I mean, we've seen plenty of guys finish with elbows from that position. Yeah. Recently, I mean, Travis Brown did it in the UFC. You saw Conor McGregor do it. He can land hard shots to the temple there. But obviously, winner really focusing on this takedown defense. He's, it really is good, that takedown defense. But there you go. He's managed to get it. I bet winner gets to his feet, though. Yeah, you can't keep the guy down. He's sitting, looking for the switch on the opposite side. And Martin can't, he can't advance his position while Winner's got that switch. Yeah. Looks for the uh, for the cross face there. I think Winner should still look for the elbows from here. Ah, he's going to get back to his feet. He does that so well. He, he really is good at it. I mean, he technically he gave his back then, but he's managed to save himself straight away. Yeah, just dug that wizard in. He's great balance, you know. Physical attributes wise, it, you know. It, Andre Winner's got everything, really. Yeah. And now he's put Steven on the fence, up first again. Bit of a tussle going on. Right in Martin's corner. I just don't think Martin's done enough in this fight. I think he's left it too late. We've got 10 seconds. Pretty much there's nothing that Martin can do to finish this fight in 10 seconds, apart from a, a lucky shot that knocks out Winner. And I don't think that's going to happen. And that's two five-minute rounds done. There is potentially a third, depending on how the judges see it. We'll have to wait till uh, we can read the scorecards. Going to complain, and he's got another five minute chance to be able to uh, punch his ticket to the final. Yeah, without a doubt, I think he's, uh, I wouldn't call him lucky, but he's certainly been fortunate there that the uh, the judges have seen that as a draw over the two rounds. And I think Winner's probably very frustrated by that. I think he thought he'd done enough. Yeah, I mean, he would have been happy to rest a little bit. Nice jabs there from uh, Martin. He knows he needs to do something drastic. Yeah, he has to push the pace here. Nice shots there from Winner. I mean, what, what's Winner got to do to win it in the eyes of the judges? We've, we've seen two good rounds from him. I, I thought, I easily, I mean, the second round easily. First round, I think, he get enough, but... All adds to the excitement. Certainly, it makes a tough night for Winner. They did, uh, the way the distance in the first, first round, distance in the semi-final, potentially. He could potentially end up fighting Artem Lobo, who's not had a fight yet. Um, that's the craziness of tournament fighting. I mean, that's why it is so exciting in its own right, because crazy stuff happens. Martin looking for the shot, gets up on the single leg. Winner defending well. Martin, he's, uh, he managed to put Winner on his ass with his lap in the last round, but he couldn't re he couldn't complete the takedown and put him fully yeah. on his back. And he's not going to get it here because Winner's freed his leg. 
Yeah, but I mean, it is enough for Winner just to hold this off. He's got to win this round. And that's what makes this, uh, you know, this final third round such a challenge. Martin really pressing there, not giving Winner any space. But as we've seen it, you know, the, the cage work and the, the anti-wrestling from Mondria Winners yeah. is very high level. I think he's desperate to disengage, to go back to throwing the shots again. Head into play. Used, saw him use that sort of shoulder Big. to try and open up some space then. Yeah, and when Winner's in this position, he's landing shots, and that's a big knee. Elbow, elbow, lovely left elbow. Winner wants to finish. Martin looks for the double leg again. And he's using a lot of energy, trying to go hit these double legs and getting them stuffed. Winner's breathing really heavy now, though. He's got the hips, but Winner's got great balance there. Martin really trying to get this fight to the ground. This is such an exciting fight. It all relies on this last round. I think the, the connotations are huge. Obviously, both guys want that money. And fair play to Stephen Martin. He's still coming forward. This is the biggest fight of his life by a, quite a long shot. Yeah. And, you know, he's giving everything he's got to Andre Winner. Winner looking for a guillotine. Winner's got a guillotine on here. Oh, he's oh, on! What a left hook! As you say, and on the break every time. He's got that down to an art. Every time he breaks, he gets the last shot in. Stephen Martin, he's got a good chin. He's eating some big shots. Yeah. That left hook in particular then. Both guys looking a little bit tired now, but, you know, with good reason. This has been a hard-fought battle. The winner just backing off slightly. If he stays on the outside and jabs his way to the end of the round, surely he's won the round. I think he's done enough. Looks for a takedown of his own. And a takedown would definitely seal this completely. And he's probably surprised, Martin, that he went for it. He showed us how good his wrestling was in the, in the opening round. Nice elbow there. He did some big slams on Jordan Miller. Yeah, a couple of knees into the thigh. He's just trying to rack up the points there. You know you're not going to stop a fight with a few knees to the thigh. Oh, lovely! He stipped that shoulder in, got the space, came back with a right hook. Nice right, right hook to, to the, the body. Snap. Left right. elbow. Left knee. Hammer fist to the thigh. And uh, Andre Winnie pushing uh, Martin onto the fence here and landing the shots, racking up the points. Can't be long left in this final round. Yeah. And it looks to be going winner's way. Stephen Martin running out of ideas, maybe. He manages to get winner on the fence. Yeah, I think it's too late now. We're going to be coming up to 10 seconds very, very soon. And when we do, I just don't think you can finish a submission very often in 10 seconds. Uh, and when he's pressing winner on the fence, he's not landing any shots. Winner's constantly landing shots when he's got the dominant position as well. So for me, it looks like a, a round in the, in the books for Andre Winner yep. and a ticket to the final. I think so as well. Let's see what we've got. Close fight, hard fought from both guys. We're going to have to go to the judges.